So this is where a planter was, you right. can tell. Yeah. So that I might not get all of them here. So I'll turn everything on here. You always have to do the rear end first. Okay. And that is that the That's the separator. Yeah, separator. that's the rotor, rotor, rotor. rotor. Yeah, the separator clutch. Yeah. So then I'll watch my rotor speed. See that? Let it run just a little bit, make sure everything worked. Yeah. And then my header clutch. Oh, I got you. And then I have to rev it up. Get it moving. Get everything moving. And drive the combo. Pretty simple. Right. Shaking, shaking yeah, that's the where seed. the grain is right. going through. Yeah. So if that gets red, I'm I'm kind of loading it up too much. Right. Yeah. And then this is my augers, my, that, on my side augers that get it up to the top right. if I'm yeah. too full. Right. Right. But normally that's not a problem. These augers can handle this. Right. Because we're only cutting, we're not cutting 250 bushel corn. We're cutting 100 right. bushel wild. Exactly. So the augers typically don't have a problem. See when where the plant's uh, drier, uh -huh. the grain is drier because yep. it died earlier. Yep, right. So this, you know, this right here is plenty dry grain. That's why we're blending out and probably yep. making a 14 month. Right. Because right here, I mean, we're down to the 12s, 12s. Yeah. 11s. Tank, you can always look and see oh, how see. clean it is. See, it's coming in there. Yeah. It'll get covered pretty quick because yeah. the window's so low on the right. tank. Yeah. I know uh, Charlie reached out and got right. Yeah, right out there. there. There's a door right there next to you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then you can reach into that and grab it. I see. That's when we were doing our test block. Yeah. yeah right. That's how you get grain. Uh -huh. That's why we wanted to cut it with this combine because it's Easier to get yeah. to. The other one, you have to have more grain. Oh, yeah. And I always look, you know, when I'm starting on the day, too, if you want to know if it's dry or not, look at your mirrors. Oh, yeah. And oh. see how much dust. Ah. If it's not dusty, that's interesting. That it's yeah. not dry. Right. It's not drier, I guess you could say. Right. If it's dusty like it is now, yeah. it's plenty dry. Yeah. It's dry. Yep. So yeah, like if I wanted to, I can come here, I'll, I'll do it, um, I will, uh, I can set an AB line, Oh yeah. the auto steer, and just so I will, oh, uh, it's going to ask me a question here, do you accept the auto steer right. functionality, I need to kick this on too, okay, so now my auto steer is on, so it'll just so run I can that path, right? remark, well, I'll set my header right here, so right. I'll set to current. See, this is greener here, right. so it's probably wetter. Yeah, it's better that. Milo, though. Yeah. So I'm gonna set my line, and then I'll wait. See, then it set my line. Uh -huh. Watch this. And total hands free. It's well, the header height. Yeah, but I mean, but the steering. Steering is hands free. See, it's going right down the line. I'll be darned. Makes it so much easier. Yep. Well, let's go over my moisture now. Let's see where we're at. See? Yeah. Still dry enough, but yeah, it, it, it definitely went up. Yeah. You know. I see that. Yeah. But it's almost 11 o'clock, so it's yeah, still. still. That's kind of what Charlie said to start with. I haven't even talked to Charlie today. He 
so I guess he's busy. <laughs> so if it sits in the truck, it's not going to get any drier, right? Or, okay. or wetter. Okay. I mean, unless overnight it can get wetter. Yeah. If it's if it's wet, if it's wet, and you right. tarp it, the humidity in that rain right. will actually sometimes it will make it worse. A little bit worse, not a lot. Right. But if it's dry going in the truck, it'll be dry coming out of the truck. Right. If it's wet going in and you haul it that day, yeah. it's going to be about the same. Right. See, it's and I can tell you what's making it wetter. Not the main heads with those little ones out the side. Uh -huh. The tillers, those right. are the ones that are making it wetter. Oh, I see. Oh, because they're not yeah, mature. they're brand they're new. Those yeah. little ones. Yeah, I see that. Out the side. So yeah. there's one that's not yeah. ready. I see them all. And that's what's there. spiking your moisture. Yeah. Seeing most of the time, there's a method behind our madness here. I counted rows, so I should have 16 left there. Right. Um, but one thing you have to think about if you're cutting really good crops is you got to have this side open. Right. So you can dump. Right. So, so that's why you would go left side. Yeah, you yeah. need to have your left side open. But there's definitely a method behind it. Right. And I can count rows. It's hard to do, but I'll, I can right. count rows and leave enough you right. know, for full yeah. passes. Yeah. You just do divisible of 16, basically. Yeah. So yeah, that auto steer basically took me all the way out here. Wow. See, and this stuff right here is wetter. So how here. do you get out of the? And we're not going to oh, cut, yeah, we're not I see cut any of that. Yeah, until that's really wet. Long time. You know? How do you That's get out of your auto steer? Just grab just it and turn steering. it? And it says, yeah. okay, you're done. Yeah, yeah, well, it'll disengage. Yeah. Yeah, it's real easy. That's awesome. It's not too hard. One, I mean, I've been driving combines since I was eight years old. So. Yeah, right. Uh, it's second nature. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. So then, yeah, you just look down the middle of your row right. here. Right. You get eight rows. Yeah. And you're in the middle. <laughs> awesome. And then you're taking a full slide. So then I can go back, and there's my bushel counter. Right. It's not accurate, accurate, but it gives right. me an idea. Right. And then I'll have a buzzer go off here in a minute. That says I'm three quarters full. Oh, okay. And then I'll have another buzz that goes off that tells me I'm full. Ah. But sometimes I can, you know, I can cut a little more after the buzzer goes off. Because right. I know my bushels. Right. I can go to about 450 and that's, that's, bad, yeah. that's too much. Yeah. See, there it is. Yeah. So, like any time after that, if you're around and you're you're, and, you're letting me know. Huh? Well, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll think about dumping. Right. Yep. It works. See, this is wetter here. You can tell. Yep. I can tell looking at it. Yep. Well, I can too now that you told me what to look yeah, for. Yeah, look at these immature heads. Yeah, and the leaves are not brown, they're green. Yeah. See, Majority. I'm the 16s, but yeah. we've got enough dry. Yeah, from up there. That I think we can blend it. And honestly, I don't think the wind's going to blow today, so I think once this sun well, makes I, it, this is what you're going to have today. I, I heard forecast was 10 to 15. Well, that'd be all right. Out Just of the a sun. little, a little bit of wind would yeah. See, I'm getting high here. Yeah, you are. And you try not to take the leaves, but you got to have some. Right. Or you lose plant. You yeah, lose so a seed head. Right back down. Yeah. So, like right now, I am steering. But it's yeah.
and I can tell if I'm going too fast. Yeah, you're so there's your instant yield. Uh huh. Making 130 right there. That's wow. really good. That yeah, is good. And then I'm watching my sieves yeah. too. So I'm going about the right speed because I'm not maxing anything out. Right. And then I, you know, okay, so I'm thinking here, we're starting off the day. I know at Larner, they probe in the back, right? right? So this bin load, if, if I was to give you this, that's why I would tell you, put this in the front. Right. Oh, that okay. way the Milo can dry out more before they get the probed right. spot. You yes. know what I'm saying? Right. right. So this one needs to go, well, I'll probably just go over the truck. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. And then I'll but, probably be But off. you'll let me know. But yeah, I mean, well, this one I'm for sure going to put in the front. Right. But I mean, if there's yeah. a situation. Yeah, like if there's that, a situation, yeah, I'll tell you. Try to put this in the front if, yeah. if there's a possibility. Yeah. Now, when two of us are cutting, it's a little harder to do that. Yeah. And I don't know. You know, when two of us are harvesting, I don't know what he's in. Yeah. Okay, so there's my green tank full button. So I will start watching my bushel counter. I, I think I will make it. It'll be close. Right. If I don't, I don't. So 450 is your About limit. 450. It'll go up pretty quick. But see, I'm back in the dryer mile. Yeah. I can just tell like, the dust. Yeah. yeah. And you can change all this on yes. the screen. You can do it however you want to do it. That's yeah, pretty awesome. See, see I've got yeah. enough of that to blend it, yeah. I feel like. Uh, right. There's my fuel gauge. Yeah. That's my temperature gauge here. Yeah. See, and it shows that my pen's full. Oh, yeah.